morning folks it is sunday march 17th aka saint patrick's day happy saint patrick's day for whoever celebrates and is really into that um, for us today is the first shed hunt of the season for my well for myself super excited uh darren's coming it's gonna be his first one of the season my buddy jeremy's coming he's never really gone just to shed hunt he just picks up sheds when he's hunting and then it was supposed to be ryan but due to work obligations he's not able to make it so we got a superstar to step in and sub for him and that is mr jordan who's on his way down now from where he resides so we're gonna get the truck going here cold start as you can hear the sounds of albuquerque in the background but uh here we go. I love that. Anyway, <clears throat> anyways, I'm gonna get going here in a few and go meet up with everybody gonna leave their vehicles hop into mine and head about two and a half hours from here Hope we can find some sheds on this cold it's gonna be rainy for sure it rained here all night last night you can tell just looking around how gloomy it is but it's gonna be fun regardless so let's do it come along all right well first one's here actually fucking beat me here it's Jeremy oh well, man on the big dog truck so now we're just waiting on uh, Darren and Jordan so uh, I'm gonna help him get loaded up and we'll talk some more when they get here all right second person has got here the superstar himself hey, morning hope you're not uh, counting on me uh, <laughs> That's Jeremy, Jeremy yeah. Jordan. Jordan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. Now we're just waiting on Darren and get his stuff loaded up and we'll get on the road here. All right, last piece of the puzzles here, Darren. Take him over and you can meet Jordan and Jeremy. We can get on the road and get going. Say good morning to these familiar faces. Darren, up, Jeremy. How are you? Uh, I'm How sure are you guys you? have met. And Jordan and Darren. Jordan, how's it going? Good, good to see you. Pretty good. Well, it got a little more interesting once we got up here. We're at the spot where we're parking and we got to walk up into the BLM, but dogs are welcoming us. But we're here. Nothing we could do now but get after it and see what happens. It's going to be interesting. All right, got my stuff pretty much ready. Jordan's wrapping his up. I'm ready. You're on two, one? Just two. Just two. Jeremy's got his stuff. Darren's wrapping up. As you can see, it's not exactly what we thought it'd be. We were expecting rain, not four inches of snow, but it just makes for a fun time. So we're going to head out here in a second. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with. Dropping down about four inches of snow every step. I've seen some good sign. Just got word from Darren, <clears throat> excuse me. He thinks he found a brown. He's trying to go up to it now, so we're waiting to hear from him. Excuse the heavy breathing. We just went up this hill that's nothing nice when it's not snowing. Made it twice as hard now. Yeah. I think we've gone two and a half miles, maybe three miles. Oh man, fun times. All right, made it to it. Next video, I'll have the handy uh, video stick 
or tripod. Just got to dig it out now. However, I'm going to do that probably to get the pickup. But I want you guys to see a quick uh, shot of what I've got. And I'm going to make my way around to it, line it up. And the phone around. How's that? Glass that up from about eh, 75 yards on the other side of the ravine behind me. In that snow, isn't that awesome? And here I was worried about if I was going to find anything because the snow's so deep. It's about six to eight inches deep here. That's definitely an elk antler. Let's hope it's brown. Parts of it does look brown. Hang tight for the pickup. All right, everybody, I got the video set up. I'm going to go walk on over there and do the pickup. Got here. All right. Let's see where this base is at. Looking for the base right now. Here we go. Let's dig it for the base. Definitely a brown, big brown. Having fun in the snow. Check that out. No bloody bases. Very possibly had a white uh, wax ring, but I've been using the antler as a crutch. I love whale tails. Brown, baby. I need to get my hands around that thing. Finger, anyway. Excited. All right. How else can I show you guys that? Hope I'm close enough. Hope I'm in the frame. Yeah. Right side, heavy. Ooh, that's pushing nine pounds. Didn't get a chance to get a as it lays shot because it was buried in the snow, but there's a good look at that sticker or kicker. Cleaned it off as much as I could. Oh yeah, definitely a wax ring. It's kind of blackened. Probably because it's been in the snow. 
nice whale tail on that. I love whale tails, as I said. Okay. Um, gonna get this thing strapped on, and Jimmy says he thinks it was his match from last year. Which means I don't have to go looking for the other side. But I probably will do that anyway, and then uh, meet up with these guys, show them this shed, and uh, I actually think I... Uh, I think I found one over on the other side. So I'm gonna go back to my pack and look back where I was at and see if I can glass that one up, see if that's an antler also. Peace out. Just found some bone. <sighs> Not the bone I'm looking for. Finding a lot of dead shit around here. Only other person to find a shed today. Lucky him. Huh? Yeah, this place is the shit, huh? Just kidding. Oh. Okay. oh yeah, it's all intact at least though. Nice. Right, just dropping everybody off. It's all done. Two skunkers right here didn't get shit. Thanks for Jordan, good little five. Shitty conditions, but we dealt with it. And then Darren, man of the day with the big one. Big shed. Let me correct that. Guys, <laughs> excited. Yeah. Thanks for coming, guys. We'll do it again soon. Later, fellas. Later. That's it. Crocs all day, baby. Let me know when we do it again. Yes, sir. We'll do it. Later.